Hey everyone, I'm going to be reviewing every featured unit on the voiced Fordoro anniversary banner. Each of the featured limiteds are not awakenable, so you will only need to get one dupe of them. So we're just going to judge them based on their highest level cap, which currently is level 50. If you want to see me review the upcoming risotto banner, be sure to subscribe to be up to date whenever I upload the next video. So I'm just going to be straightforward and say the unit you really want to get from this banner is Voiced Fordoro. I already made an initial review on this unit, but if you need a refresher, he is by far the most powerful unit in the game with the strongest time stop. He is able to make his own enhanced Fordoro panels in his time stop, which leads him to make insane stand-up combos. And with the right units, you are able to loop easily. By far, his most reliable partners are Voiced Risotto and Voiced Kakyoin. You can also use him with other high tier erasers or enhancers. Now let's go over the other unit you really want to get from this banner. Voiced Kakyoin. Again, I already made a video reviewing Voiced Kakyoin as a unit, so go watch that if you want a more in-depth guide. But in short, you want to make a large connection of partner panels so that Voiced Kakyoin will do a high damage erase with the longest connection and then restore it at most 80% of the erased panels with enhanced panels. This works especially well with Voiced Risotto, whose intensified panels get multiplied even further with Voiced Kakyoin's erase. He is also a good Voiced Fordoro partner, which can instantly charge him and his partner skills back up to full. Now let's go over the other units in the banner, starting with Voiced Rohan. Voiced Rohan will create two enhanced boxes. There are four designated spots where he will create the boxes, and the type of panel that is on these designated spots will become a box panel. So let's say you're using Voiced Fordoro. Before you use Voiced Rohan skill, you want to make sure there are Voiced Fordoro panels on the box spawn locations. That way, you can guarantee two enhanced partner boxes, which can be incredibly useful for setting up high damage stand-up combos. To properly set this up, you really want to use him only in stand-up, which means you want to partner him up with a good time stopper like Fordoro or Voiced Fordoro, so you can use their time stops to get you instantly back into stand-up. And that way, Voiced Rohan will be able to charge their skills back up to full with his enhanced boxes. So overall, Voiced Rohan is a pretty decent Voiced Fordoro partner. However, he needs heavy skill ticket investment because you really need the cooldown reduction at skill level 5 to, for him to be even remotely useful. Also, non-limited Rohan pretty much has the same function, albeit with a lower cooldown and a little bit more randomness with single enhanced partner panels. And although enhanced boxes are a lot easier to work with than stand-up, you're more likely to have more dupes of non-limited Rohan. Add in the fact that non-limited Rohan is awakenable and has an EX sticker, then there's no competition at the moment. So personally, I wouldn't look out for him unless I have voiced Fordoro, and I really, really, really want him for collection. Now let's go over Jonathan version 3. I don't really have that much to say about him, except that he's kind of a standard 16 panel main replacer. The fact that he enhances some of his replaced panels is kind of cool. However, his pattern is really weird and is incompatible with a lot of units. So really, the only reliable partner he really has is just regular Risotto. However, at that point, why not just use regular Jonathan? He replaces the same amount of panels but with a better pattern that can be used with units like Koichi Act 1, and you're more likely to get dupes of them to get them at a higher skill level already. Jonathan version 3's only upside of enhancing some of his panels is redundant if his only usable partner is Risotto, which will enhance every single partner panel that is on the board. So personally, I wouldn't mind getting him, but just I'm not gonna look out for him. I'd much rather get the previous three units discussed. And at last, we get to the body swaps of Mista and Trish. I'm not going to sugarcoat it, these units are really awful. Mista's soul and Trish's body is the one that's slightly better, however, he's just the worst version of regular Mista. His gimmick of only targeting enhanced panels is just flat out worse than block panels. 
they don't even target Fugo's enhanced block panels, so he doesn't even have the types of synergies that regular Mista has to be even slightly decent. And even if you pair him with an enhancer, why not just use him with an actually strong unit like a Time Stopper to take advantage of the enhanced panels? Trisha's soul and Mista's body is slightly worse. Her gimmick of erasing more panels when there's more obstacles on the board can be done more consistently with a high panel count eraser like Voiced Cars or Bag Polnareff. Not to mention their cooldown of 50 is way less than her max cooldown of 70. In short, don't bother with the body swaps, you're better off using other units. So in the end, is it worth pulling on this banner? Well, you should probably know that the individual rates for each of the featured limits is the same as any other GR on the banner, which is 0.5%. The only units that you really want to go out for is Voiced Fodoro and Voiced Kakyoin. The other limiteds are either decent or just flat out bad. So I would only go for them if you're a really die hard collector. If you pull and either get Fodoro or Voiced Kakyoin, then I'd say that's a pretty good time to stop. But if you already had Voiced Fodoro and Voiced Kakyoin beforehand like me, then don't even bother because you're not incentivized to pull dupes since they're not awakenable. But that's going to be it for this unit review. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. To give a quick update on myself right now, so far university has been going pretty solid with everything online. Did pretty well my first few midterms. However, I'm still trying to figure out better time management skills so I can have a better balance of studying, leisure time, and also working on videos for you. Again, I apologize for not being as active as I used to be. It's simply because I don't have as much free time as I used to. However, I am particularly motivated with the current limited rerun banners. So to make up for lost time, why not make up for lost time by reviewing 12 limited units, even though I already technically reviewed three of them already, but that's, I'm sure you all understand the circumstances. Again, if you want to see more in-depth thoughts on the three units I already reviewed, check out my unit review series. I also have a bunch of score attack demos for each of them, so be sure to check them out. But either way, I'm still going to be making the videos that I want to make, and that's making JoJo's PPP videos for you guys as long as the game's still active and running. Rest in peace, Diamond Records. If you have any suggestions about what videos I can make, leave your comments below and I'll pick out the best ones. If you have any questions about the JIT game, be sure to join the PPP Discord. Links are in the descriptions down below, where me and a bunch of other people answer your questions about the game. Hope you guys enjoy this video, and be sure to look out for when I upload the next unit reviews on the voiced risotto banner. This is Dimes and I am out.